or dear students i am mahesh jawalkar and i am posting my seventh video on analog electronic circuits and in this video i am going to tell you about smps that is switched mode power supplies okay so let's see the outline of this video outline says that the first thing what we are going to tell here is definition of smps switch mode power supplies then block diagram of smps which is very important and then applications of smps so let's start with the a definition of smps switched mode power supply now in switch mode power supply that is in smps the unregulated dc input voltage okay the unregulated dc input voltage is chopped is chopped that is it is converted into a square wave type it is chopped into a, a at high frequency of a typically say 10 kilohertz to 100 kilohertz with the help of an active device such as bjt mos fet igbt or scr anything you can use and a transformer then the transformed chopped wave wave is then rectified and filtered to get the desired dc voltage okay a sample of the output signal is used as feedback to have a duty cycle which does the switching of the active device to get the desired output voltage okay so it is a feedback circuit and a sample of output is also taken it is a compared with the reference what you want and then that will see that the pulse width modulator gives a pulses so that the active device switches and depending upon the switching of the active device you will get the main output voltage okay so you can come to the desired output voltage by varying the switching of the active device okay so this is what is your switch mode power supply now once we go to see the block diagram then you will understand how it works so this is a block diagram and in this block diagram we have shown input voltage v in okay so v in here this is the input voltage v in and then you have v in given to a switching element switching element can be your bjt or your mos fet or your scr anything okay mos fet or you can have your scr or you can have your igbt any of this active devices can be used for switching okay so once it is switching then this input voltage whatever was there that input voltage will be a converted into a switching voltage here on off on off on off okay and that switching voltage passes through a filter which will convert it into a smooth voltage and then you will get the average smooth voltage at the output here okay this is voltage this is time and that will be your main output okay so this output is taken as a feedback okay this output is taken as a feedback and given to an error amplifier okay and also the other input to the error amplifier will be a reference voltage your desired voltage what your value you want that you are going to give here now this output voltage and the reference voltage if there is any error that error will be amplified and given at the output here here you will get the error amplified okay and that error is the input to the pulse width modulator where the width of the pulse width of the pulse can be varied according to what kind of error is the input okay so according to what kind of error is the input the width of the pulse can be varied and this pulse is given as a on time activating pulse for the switching element and depending on that how much is the on time of this pulse the switching element will remain on and then when it is off the switching element will become off and therefore the output of the switching element the average voltage of it will vary according to this on and off time of the pulse width modulator that is duty cycle duty cycle of the pulse width modulator which is given as t on upon t on plus t off okay so or depending on this the on period of the switching element like bjt mos fet scr or igbt will be varied according to the desired value 
and then the average voltage of this output will be made smooth by the filter and that will be taken as the output this is how your switch mode power supply is going to work okay so it is working on the concept of pulse width modulations pulse width modulation that is a pulses with variation in width will switch on the active device like BJT, MOSFET, AC or IGBT and then the input voltage which comes as an output of the switching device will have its average value, average voltage value which will be equal to the desired value what is expected. So this is the main working of switch mode power supply. Then switch mode power supply or commercially if you see it can look like this where you have a, a power cable here where you can give a power cable here and then you have a fan which can make it cool and then you have an on off button here and then you can take the output of this or DC output over here okay. Similarly the other type can be shown like this so you have an on off button here so here you can see on off button and here you can see the power cord which you can connect to it okay and then here you can see the inputs which are given to various parts of the computer okay so or depending upon their pin configurations and voltages various output voltages can be taken out okay so this is your SNPS what is a commercially available then if you go to see the applications of SMPS, uh, the switch mode power supply is used in personal computers, mainly in personal computers in your CPU. If you open the CPU, you can see a block like this and that will be your SMPS which will provide the power supply to the all circuits in your CPU. Okay. It is also used in machine tool industries. The SMPS is used in security system. It is used in railway system, it is used in mobile, it is used in battery charger, it is used in vehicles, it is used in lighting, it is used in many applications where a particular accurate power supplies are required. So it is a switch mode power supply. Okay. Well, thank you students. Well, this was the description of the SMPS with block diagram and its application. Okay. Well, thank you very much.